focus for this Auto Express buying guide is the mighty Range Rover, often called the first luxury SUV and for good reason. The original Range Rover was on our streets from 1970 through to 1994, though it was more popular ferrying farmers around to begin with. And being the daughter of one, I fondly remember clambering up into my parents' beige one when I was a child. And I've had a soft spot for them ever since, owning this 2003 model for the last 10 years or so. Fast forward to the Mark IV, and that was first seen in 2012 through till 2021. So, welcome to your guide to help you find the best used example. And for a great deal on a used Range Rover, do visit buyacar.co.uk. The Range Rover's off-road ability is as good as it's ever been. And if you like eight-speed automatic gearboxes, then look no further. The Mark IV only comes with that gearbox. It is a manual free zone. Of course, you need some power to put all that stuff to good use. So this is the engine lineup. Diesels come with either a three litre V6 with 254 brake horsepower or a 4.4 litre SD V8 with 334 brake horsepower. Petrol power is a potent five litre supercharged V8 with just over 500 bhp. In August 2013, a diesel electric hybrid joined the gang and less than a year later, a long wheelbase model was launched with this engine and the 5 litre V8. Revisions towards the end of 2014 brought improved off-road ability, new colours and more power to the V6 engine. In 2016, a supercharged V6 petrol with 335 bhp came along and was followed a year later by the SV Autobiography and P400E Hybrid, together with a new dual screen interior. When you get going with your search, check if the car has been a workhorse or a show pony, as there'll be a difference in wear and tear. Some will lead a hard life on and off road, whilst others will be cosseted commuter cars. Whilst the underneath of the car can cope with tough terrain, inside it is a place of calm. And despite the Range Rover's big size, it really is one of the easiest cars you'll ever drive and it is particularly effortless on motorways. You're cosseted in a cabin full of premium materials and modern tech. The basic Vogue specification gives you power fold door mirrors, a reversing camera and heated front seats. Vogue SE adds a fancier hi-fi and plusher seats with the top spec autobiography bringing bigger 21 inch wheels, a 360 degree camera and extensive climate control. It's a luxurious family car with five seats only. The long wheelbase version offers about 18 centimetres more legroom in the back and there's a huge boot that should be measured in square feet rather than litres but there is between 900 and just over 2,000 litres of space on offer. Plenty of room for a woofer or more. And it's got something that I wish all cars had, and that's a tailgate for sitting on. Official fuel economy ranges from 20 miles per gallon for the V8 up to 91 mpg for the P400e, an annual road tax from a few hundred pounds to almost 600. Services need to happen every year or at 16,000 mile intervals, with prices for these ranging from around £500 to over £1,500 when the 10th service comes around. Once the Range Rover is three years old, the fixed servicing costs are about £400 for a minor and £500 for a major one. If you go for the 3 litre TD V6, its cam belt needs replacing every seven years or 112,000 miles, which will cost 850 pounds. Spending some time doing your research will pay off, I promise you. So get to know the market by looking through the classified ads to see what condition of car your budget will buy and then look for the ones with the lowest mileage. As a guide, the average annual mileage is around 8,000 per year.
Imperfections to look out for include electronic faults, so make sure every button and switch works perfectly from the seat settings to the stereo. When on a test drive, if there's juddering at low speed, it could mean that there's dirty oil in the transfer box. And this is worth replacing every 30,000 miles. So do ask the seller for the history on this. If you feel vibrations at high speeds, it's an indication of a costly fix. Also, frequent repairs include issues with the hydraulic anti-roll bars, air suspension, cooling system and turbo. Bills often range from £1,000 to £5,000. Driving a Range Rover is so comforting, you'll think you've been chauffeur-driven home. These machines have long set the standard in luxury off-roaders and personally, I'd take a 5-litre V8 together with shares in a petrol station. Now, the Mark IV Range Rover will not be the cheapest car that you buy or run, but it will certainly be one of the most rewarding.